Welcome to Sawdust and Wood today. Today I'm going to teach you how to cut a stair stringer, how to take a measurement and cut it and lay it out with the framing square. We are going to do 28 inches today. Let's get started. This is our example for today. I need to rise 28 inches and I need steps for that. So the math is 28 inches divided by 7 because between 7 to 8 inches is normally code for the rise for steps. So 28 divided by 7 equals 4 steps. Then you take 28 and you divide it by the 4 steps and that gives me 7. So I need 4 steps that rise 7 inches and the run is normally 10 inches on steps. And I have it drawn out here so we can look at it. And I even have the kicker shown at the bottom that you're going to see later on in the video. It's a 2x4 kicker. So 7 inches of rise and 10 inches of run. So I'm going to set the blade of my framing square to 10 on the edge of the board and the tongue to 7. 10 being the run and 7 being the rise. So I'm going to trace that. Then I'm going to extend my square on the line of the 10 and trace it through. That's going to represent the floor, where the stairs are going to meet the floor. Then I'm going to go 10 and 7 again and trace that. And that is going to be our second step. I'm going to go 10 and 7 again. I'm going to line 10 up with the line and 7 over here on the edge of the board. And trace that. And I'm going to write 3 for our third step. I'm going to line 10 and 7 up again. I'm going to trace that. Then I'm going to extend this line all the way through. Because that's the end of our stairs. So when I made my first mark, I let I mark completely across, and that is the floor. Once you start to visualize your stairs on the string, it's gonna be really easy to check your layout. So seven inches up on the square. That was the first mark. So that's our first step up. Ten inches of run. All right, step one. Here's step two. Seven inches up, ten inches over. Step three, seven inches up, ten inches over. So that brings us to 21 inches up right now on the stringer, and we were going for 28. Now, most steps, you don't cut that last stringer because your step, your top step on the string would be right at the top of whatever you were building up to 28 inches so i'm going to stop my step right here at 21 and then the next step will be on the top of the platform that you'd be going up to and this is exactly what i mean my last step would end there and there would be another seven inch rise and that would put us perfect on the top of the deck that we were building up to So 7, 14, 21, and we're going to cut it across. Now I'm going to cut this out, then I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Here I'm cutting the stair stringer, and I had my wife come outside and film me, so that's why I am rushing through cutting. I should have had this board braced better. I should have had it on some saw horses, and if I didn't have anybody to hold the board down, I should have had it clamped down. But... I just didn't have the time to do it. I wanted y'all to see me cutting it. So I'm cutting each step out. And you'll notice I do an overcut in every step. Now if I were cutting these steps for somebody, somebody's house, I would stop my saw before it got all the way through and use a hand saw and finish the cut. So it wouldn't have that overcut look. Also, I want to note, this is a 2x10 
that I had left over for the last table I built and stairs are always cut on 2x12s so I just wanted to note that I didn't say it earlier in the video and I want everybody to be very aware of that this was just some extra lumber I had and I figured I could do a video with it so here I am cutting the last step off square Here's my stair stringer I have cut and it's 7 inches of rise and 10 inches of run and I'm going to use a 1 by for my steps to deck the top which is 3 quarters of an inch thick. So I have to deduct 3 quarters of an inch off the bottom step so all the other steps line out right so I have it marked and I'm going to make that cut. Alright so I took a scrap piece of 2x4 trace it out from my kicker and this is how the kicker fits into the bottom of the stair stringer it holds everything in place at the bottom we're gonna cut that out right here and then on the ground level you have a two by four running the whole length of your stairs they call that a kicker. Right. got the kicker cut out just trace the two by four scrap so when the stairs are on the ground like this that two by four can sit right there and you can secure the bottom of your stairs like that here is a picture of your stair stringer as it would look 7 14 21 and then whatever level you were going to the top of the deck or something would be right here and this is what i mean this is exactly how it would look when you nailed it up it would be one step short and everything would line up perfectly once it was put up that's all there is to it. Please comment any questions below. Thanks for watching. Now this is just an example. So let's say we had 27 inches total height. We'd be 27 divided by 7 would equal 3.85. We'd round up the 4 steps. 27 divided by 4 steps would equal 6.75 which is 6 and 3 quarters of an inch. So we'd have 4 steps at 6 and 3 quarters rise and 10 inch run. And here is how it would look when you would lay it out to cut. I just want to give another example. 